Hello, my beautiful Capricorns. How are you? It is B. Welcome to my channel, Psychic Sounds by B. Thank you so much for joining me. This reading is for Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon, and Capricorn Rising. Also, if you have a Venus or Mars in Capricorn, you may want to listen to this reading as it relates to your love life. All right, guys, if you would like to get a personal reading with me or if you would like to purchase a subscri subscription to my website to access the extended readings for this month and for all the signs and for all the months hereafter, um, you certainly can go to the link below. All of the extended readings are generally posted uh, just prior to the first of the month, so that is when they are available. There are other things there as well, like planetary aspects. Those are generally pretty accurate as well. So just want to make you guys aware of that. So I just want to thank all of you for your likes, your shares, and your subscribes, and all of your wonderful support and your beautiful comments. I certainly do appreciate it. All right, guys, let's just go ahead and let's get into your reading. So I am going to be doing the reading for September and for October. As all of you know, I have switched my platform a little bit. And that platform now uh, handles uh, two months at a time. And this is just to help me stay on top of my obligations because I have much going on in my life. So for the beautiful, beautiful, kind and gentle Capricorns, what is the energy for September for Capricorns? Energy for September. What is the general energy for Capricorns? Capricorns, here's your general energy. What is your work life and financial life energy? Work life and financial life. Work life and financial life for Capricorns. There is your work life and financial life. What is your emotional life and love life, Capricorns? Here is your emotional life and love life. And what is your health and your well being, Capricorns? Here is your health and well being. The next deck I'm going to be using is the Toth deck. The first deck, of course, is the traditional Rider Weight. So the Toth deck um, is similar to the Rider Weight, but there are words at the bottom of the card to describe the general energy of the card. But again, as all of you know, I do psychic tarot readings. So this isn't just what the cards say. It's also what I am pulling in from universe as well and the collective. So what is the general energy for Capricorns for October? General energy for Capricorns. Here is your general energy. What is the energy for the work life and financial life for Capricorns? Here is your work life and financial life. What is emotional life and love life for Capricorns? Emotional life and love life for Capricorns. There it is. And it looks like this one wants to come out for health and well-being. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it. All right, guys. So what is the general energy for the Capricorns out there for the month of September of 2018? Capricorns, you do have the Wheel of Fortune. When you have the Wheel of Fortune, something is turning in your favor, um, whether it's luck is turning in your favor or some sort of event or situation is now turning back into your favor. That could be happening as well. But this is certainly coming up here. The Wheel of Fortune, the Wheel of Fate is turning. Now, it may not just be turning for you. It may be turning for... Um, maybe a loved one or a child or something like that, but it is coming up here. As it relates to what I am actually getting here, the four corners, I'm feeling like for some reason, um, I don't know, it just came in, I'm seeing a bed, making a bed. Okay, making sure that the four corners are tight. There could be something around the bed that is significant. Um, so I don't know if you need to make sure everything is tidy around the bed or something like that, but things need to be, um, there's something about the bed that is significant, um, aside from sleeping and aside from other activities, but, uh, there's something about the bed that is important. Maybe you need to fix your bed. Maybe you need to get a new mattress. Maybe you just got a new mattress. Maybe you need to get a new pillow, but there's something about the bed that's coming up here. This could be any type of bed. This could be any word in it that has bed in it, okay? Uh, this could be um, a garden, a, a, a bed of roses or a garden, um, a garden bed, okay? So that could be what's coming up here too. I'm just seeing bed, okay? For others of you out there, Capricorns, there is something regarding research. Definite research is amongst uh, 
you Capricorns right now as well. Reading, maybe you are reading in bed. I just heard for some Capricorns out there, if you know anybody that smokes and they read in bed or they smoke in their home, please make sure you remind them, especially if they're a loved one, not to smoke when before they go to bed. And, you know, that used to be kind of a big thing, but um, I don't know if it really is anymore. But I just don't want to see somebody, you know, I don't want to see a fire happening because there's, um, you know, uh, smoke um, or, you know, a cigarette butt that lights a sheet on fire. It's just important to have the bed made properly. And I don't know what that is. For some of you Capricorns, you might have a loved one that is going in the military or you know somebody in the military and maybe they're going through basic training or they're in camp or something like that, but there's something about the four corners of the bed. Uh, for others of you out there, there is someone in your life that is of a different culture than you that you are interested in, in business or in a love relationship or some sort of partnership um, you know, relative to the month of September. So let's go ahead and let's keep going, guys. What do we have going for your work life and your financial life? For your work life and financial life, Capricorns, you do have the Eight of Swords, the Eight of Swords is all about kind of being in your head about your finances or figuring out what to do with your finances. Some of you might be stashing money under your bed. I don't know what's going on here or somebody around you is stashing money under their bed. I don't even know what that means, but um, <clears throat> like in the mattress or something like there's money in the mattress whatever. Um, but there's, there's something going on here relative to being in your head, um, feeling like you are incapacitated regarding your finances. Maybe you have too many bills and you don't have enough income coming in, or maybe you thought you could retire when you were 55 or, or 60, and now you're having to push that back to 65. And you're just like, how am I going to make my ends meet? How am I going to make money here? Why can't I just get ahead? So this could be what's going on for some of you Capricorns out there, for other Capricorns out there, the reason why you're worried about money is somebody has to have back surgery or somebody's having back issues. Okay, so somebody has to be put in, um, I'm trying to think of what they call that, but they're the, the back braces is what I'm hearing. So perhaps if you're having back problems, Capricorns, maybe you want to look at your mattress, maybe flip your mattress or something like that, because I am definitely picking up back problems for some reason and it just keeps coming in and it might have something to do with the bed okay but uh there is something going on here where you feel just like you you're just you're immobilized you can't move around the way that you moved around before some of you capricorns out there you did um you did a lot of manual labor you had to move around a lot you had to drive a lot you had to do like you know like i said manual labor maybe Maybe you're in gardening, maybe you're in landscaping or something like that, and something happens to your back, or you get into, um, you pull something or you strain something, and that's your that's your well-being, that's what you do, that's what you do to bring revenue into, into your family or into your home, and now it's like, I don't have any revenue, revenue moving because I physically cannot move right now, okay? It could be a mental incapacitation or it could be a physical incapacitation, okay? This could also be where you signed a contract. And I really hope that none of you signed a contract within the last past month or two or three. The reason why I say that was because Mars is retrograde. Now Mars is coming back into your sign. Mars was retrograde in your second house, your second solar house of Aquarius. And Aquarius is your second house of the money you make from the company you work for and the money you make from the business you own. So what may have happened here is you may have signed a contract, you may have signed an agreement to uh, be obligated to some sort of payment or be obligated to some sort of um, financial you know, agreement of some sort. And now you're going back to that contract and you realize that you're now trapped. That if you, if you break the contract, you're going to owe four times as much as you owe now. There's something going on here with feeling a little bit trapped with money for whatever reason. And it might have something to do with your health or it might have something to do with a contract. So just be aware of that. Um, you may have signed up for school. Maybe you paid for school up front and now you're being told that you're not approved or you're not going to get the money that you wanted to get 
the money for. The loan was denied or something about the situation was denied, but that is coming up. So what do we have going on Capricorns for your emotional life and love life? Wow, Capricorns for your emotional life and love life, you do have the 10 of swords. So I am definitely sensing for some Capricorns out here that perhaps you were in a situation where you were stuck and where you felt incapacitated. You were waiting for the, the wheel of fate to turn in your favor. And I am sensing for some of you Capricorns, you are getting out of a very unhappy situation and you want to start a new situation in your life. You want to start a new beginning in your life. This could have been someone that you actually loved dearly who stabbed you in the back. Um, this could be you, Capricorn, stabbing somebody that you loved in the back. You guys are going to know who you are relative to this particular type of energy. Um, this could be, I, like I said, backstabbing. This could be a loved one has back issues. Again, you could have back issues. This could be um, somebody stabbing you in the back, a friend stabbing other friends in the back. This could be somebody literally in ruins over a relationship. I'm sensing for some Capricorns here, you got yourself into a relationship. And for some reason, um, it could be a business partnership. It could be a love partnership, something like that. And maybe you told them things in confidence and they went around and they told everybody about your secrets, about your business, about your information that you shared with them, probably while you were in bed. Okay, this could be. Maybe you were having some pillow talk and now they're repeating all of that information to everyone else for whatever reason. Maybe this person felt backstabbed by you and their vengeance on you was to tell people about your business, okay, or your information, your private information. That is certainly coming up here. So Capricorns, I'm really sorry to see this happening to you, but it is the end of this. Tomorrow is a new day. Okay, um, give thanks for the lessons learned and uh, access your strength because if anybody has strength, you do. And you will be a better person for this. Okay, you will understand how to move through this. You will persevere. You will succeed. Okay, it's just right now for some reason it does appear that there is some level of karma in whatever way, shape, or form is coming back and it's being delivered either to you or the karma is being delivered to somebody around you and it's not the good kind of karma. Okay, so please be aware of that as well. And I wish, I do not wish negative karma on anyone. The thing about it is, is that if you're coming from the genuine, truthful, loving, uh, and kind place, which most of you do, this is actually going to be happening to somebody around you and not you. But if you perhaps manipulated, coerced, did anything out of your integrity, it does appear that this is coming back at you for whatever reason. So what do we have going on Capricorns as it relates to your health and your well-being? For your health and well-being, you do have the Knight of Cups. So this Knight of Cups person is a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio person. This person has a message of love, compassion, kindness, and forgiveness for you. Okay, this person is here to help you heal. I am sensing for some of you Capricorns, you are going to this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio friend, or this is perhaps uh, maybe you're ending a relationship with someone and you're getting in to a new relationship with somebody else, or you want to get into a relationship with this Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, and they will help you to heal. They'll assist you in healing. And it's, I don't want you guys to look at it like somebody's taking pity on you. People come together for specific purposes. And sometimes you're not meant to be friends and sometimes you are. Sometimes you're not meant to be lovers and sometimes you are. Sometimes you're meant for forever with this person, but sometimes you're not. The thing about this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio person, that person is there to assist you in healing. If it ends up being something else, fine, then let time tell, okay? 
if it only ends up for a brief moment, a week, a month, four months, six months, whatever, and they help you to heal through the situation, then maybe that's their purpose in your life. That's the contract that they have with you. Let's move on to October, uh, Capricorns. What do we have for you uh, for your general energies for October of 2018? You have works. You have the three of pentacles the, or the three of discs. When you have the three of discs, I am sensing if some of you Capricorns went through an emotional traumatic situation or even if people around you are going through emotional trauma right now, you are literally burying your head in work. All you want to do is work. You right now, yourself, you're getting out of a situation and you seem to be coming out of it. The wheel does seem to be turning in your favor. You do seem to be finally healing yourself and you've got friends or you've got this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio that's helping you. But the thing about it is you've been through so much, you can't handle anybody else's trauma. It will break you. So what you're doing is you're going within, healing yourself and putting all of your effort into your work because right now that is what is giving you the biggest benefit because you feel like you're progressing and you feel like you're moving forward. And when you're comfortable in your work, in your career, in your stability, you know, you become this amazing Capricorn because that's just how you're built. Okay, so that could be going on for some of you out there. Others might be uh, looking at you for the great job that you've done, a job well done. You might be looking um, into studying. Again, research and studying did come up here. So for some of you, you might be going back to school. Uh, for others of you out there, there is something regarding uh, some sort of beacon. I'm hearing beacon. I don't know what that means. B-E-A-C-O-N. That might mean something to some of you. A beacon, a light, like a lighthouse, um, like an airport, um, you know, tower, a beacon. There's something significant about that. So whatever that means to some of you Capricorns out there. Again, you could have foreign energies around you as well. So just be aware of that. So what do we have going on as it relates to your uh, work and your financial life? This is really interesting. You guys have, excuse my horrible, horrible manicure there. You guys have the Prince of Cups. So this Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio um, is definitely in your vicinity. They are present in September and they are very present in October. This Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio may work at the same company that you work or the same business that you work in. So this is what is coming up here. This person might be a financial advisor or this person might be bringing more stability into your life. Uh, for others of you out there, this Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio person, I don't know why I'm hearing this, but is allowing you your freedom. Now, I don't know what that means. It could be through this healing, but it could also mean that it looks to me the way that this Prince of Cups looks it looks like they're like getting on their little bird or their chariot or their, you know, whatever that is. I think it, I think it is an air. I think it is like an eagle or something like that. But um, it's almost like, you know, like the wings, the bars on the, on the pilot, on the pilot's lapels, those. Um, this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio person is giving you your freedom they're saying, okay, if, if this, if this relationship isn't working, I'm going to let you go. Or you're going to say to them, look, this relationship is not working and I need to go. It's time for me to go. And I would like for you to go as well. So some of you might be, be very, very diplomatic in ending a relationship, or maybe the relationship itself has been very tumultuous and very traumatic. And they've been hanging on and making your life miserable. And they just come up to you in the month of October and say, you know what? I've got a job in another city. Um, I'm ready to sign the divorce papers. I'm leaving and I won't be back. Okay. That could be going on for some of you Capricorns out there. Not all of you, 
but some of you. But this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio person, male or female, may be doing really well in their work. They may be getting celebrated at their work. You might be celebrating them. They might be celebrating you, but that energy is coming up here, okay? But travel may be of significance for some of you Capricorns, possibly over water as well. So please be aware of that. So what do we have going on for your emotional life and love life? You have change. So when you have change, this is the two of discs. Um, I think this is called uh, the, the snake that eats its tail or Ourobora, or no, that's the sky thing. Ouroboros, Ouroboros, Ouroboros. I can't remember. But this two of pentacles is significant because you are having to make a choice. Someone around you is having to make a choice. And I feel for some of you, the choice is to leave. The choice is to end this situation. For some of you Capricorns out there, especially if you're single, you are trying to figure out how this person that you're interested in is going to be able to be integrated into your life as you know it. Okay, so you're trying to work through that particular type of energy right now. Um, you might be performing for a loved one. Um, you might be, you know, you might be serenading them or they might be serenading you. I mean, who knows? But it certainly is coming up here. Um, you may have to travel to see this person. This person might be traveling to see you. But there is something about a performance or there's something about a choice that needs to be made. Um, I just heard the performance of your life. So whatever that means for some of you uh, Capricorns in October, that is certainly coming up here as well. Um, I heard putting on a show. So somebody, somebody may have put on a really nice show for you that they were all that and then some, and it turns out that they weren't. It turns out that they weren't who they said they were. Now, for some of you Capricorns, you might have been putting on a show for somebody else and you are not the person that they thought you were. So be aware of that as well. And again, this is a general reading. I'm trying to give you every single angle of the story that I possibly can because energies exist in their essence in so many ways. They can appear in many ways, but they carry the same content, the same energy, okay? So be aware of how that might be working out in your life. A choice possibly needs to be made in a relationship. Maybe you're choosing between two people or maybe you're choosing between two jobs because you need to spend more time at home or, or your loved one wants you to spend more time with them and says, you, you know what, I never see you. And because I never see you, I, you know, I got to leave. I got to get out of here. I mean, I just... I, I don't even feel like we even know each other anymore. We just exist in the same room. And it's it might be time for us to just go our separate ways. That could be happening for some of you. Okay, but for others of you, there is some sort of um, putting on a show or performing for somebody because you love them. And um, you want to put on a performance for them. And you want it to be really beautiful. And you want it to be very memorable. So that is certainly coming up. So what is going on with your uh, health and your well-being? You have victory. This is beautiful, Capricorn. If you were having any issues with your back or if you were having any health issues, you're coming out of it now. This is wonderful. This could also be because you finally stopped sitting on the fence regarding your health. Maybe you decided to go into the doctor, get a different medication, or give yourself a different approach to your health. Now you are starting to see the benefits of this. Maybe Maybe you stopped working so much, but now you're working out. And the reason is because you were feeling exhausted and you were feeling stressed. But now that you're working out, you're feeling a little bit freer. Your body's starting to loosen up. You're starting to get more limber. So this could certainly be what is happening here. Uh, the other thing that could be going on for your health and well-being, if any of you work in the medical field, uh, you could be getting awarded something or you could be getting a loved one of yours could be getting awarded something. Uh, an award, a recognition, a job well done, something like that. Um, very, very celebratory, whatever it is. 
Um, someone may be celebrating them. Someone may be celebrating you. That certainly could be what's going on here. I am sensing for some Capricorns, you are ready to bring someone out in the open. Okay, so this could be uh, somebody that you've been kind of seeing, but nobody really knew about it. And it appears possibly to be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Those are the only two signs that are present right now in this particular reading. And maybe you're ready to say, you know what, just damn it all. I, 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 I want to be with this person. I want to be seen out in public with this person. I want to celebrate them. I want them to celebrate me. I'm done hiding us. It's time to introduce us out into the public and celebrate who we are and how much we love each other. All right, Capricorns, I hope that you like this reading. I wish you much light, much love, and many blessings. And please consider getting a subscription on my website to access all of the extended readings for this month. Take care. Namaste.